I couldn't believe it because Jamra actually came to our school. I was actually seeing her in person. I actually couldn't believe it was her. Wow, some pretty excited students in Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland this week. When Jan Brett, the best-selling author and illustrator of over 30 children's books, came to spend the day, Woodland Primary School and the small community worked together to win an online competition where the prize was a visit from Jan. And joining me now, Jan Brett, um, in studio and, of course, on the phone from Newfoundland is the driving force behind the contest entry teacher, Maureen Hiscock. Um, good morning to you both. Good morning. Let me begin with you, Jan. Um, this is a relatively small community, a relatively small school. You've been running this contest for some time. Tell me about the reception. Well, they met me at the airport in Gander, <laughs> all these little faces, and it just get, kept getting better from there. It's so exciting to, to, for them to have you come. And you even kind of told the teacher at one point, whatever you do and keep going, when they didn't know if they were even still going to be considered in, for the win. I know, and it was just how many likes on Facebook, and somehow they mustered up. But, you know, once I saw the school... I wasn't surprised. <laughs> I mean, you walked into their library, and it was like Alibaba's cave. Books, <laughs> beautiful books everywhere. The children all learning, and they had this wonderful open attitude. Because these teachers, I don't know what they've got going there, but somehow the synergy, they have got those children so excited about books and reading and about okay. the world around them. So, Maureen Hiscock, let me ask you, um, when did you get the idea to, to jump online with the contest and to, to get your school in the running? Well, last, last January I was doing an uh, author study in my classroom and I went on to the Jambrett website to get some ideas and I saw there uh, enter a contest. So I emailed Jan to see where in the world she was willing to travel and uh, it said she emailed me back and said anywhere. So I entered the school in the contest and from there uh, it just went. <laughs> when you found out that your school had won that visit, Tell me about the response from the kids when you told the students. Uh, well, they all, they all knew before we came back to school on Monday morning because we found out uh, on early Sunday morning that we had won. And all their parents were checking the Internet to, uh, to see if we had won. So they all knew, but we made the announcement and they were pretty excited. I guess so. And then that moment, what we're looking at as, we, as we've been listening to you is when Jan Brad arrived at the airport with the banners and the signs, all the students and the parents. You've been doing this, Jan, for 10 years, right? You've been, you get so many requests that you decided to have a contest exactly, to kind of yeah. figure that out. Tell me about um, the different experiences, uh, how, the, how it would compare to going to Newfoundland. You hadn't been before. I'd never been before. It uh, the children just were so excited and prepared by their teachers, but I gave them a drawing lesson, and I would say the highlight of my trip was seeing their drawings of Little Bear from my book, and each one was better than mine because <laughs> they had this pizzazz that you have when you're a young child. Yeah. So hopefully if I could encourage their creati creativity, that would be like the icing on the cake. Well, and I also understand you got a, quite a flavor of Newfoundland in the, oh, yes. in the dinner that you went to. <laughs> I got screeched in, which involved a lot of um, traditional foods, which were incredibly yummy. But I had to kiss a cod, and it looked a little bit like the undead. I thought, I eat sushi, and so I thought it would be an easy thing to do. But when it came right down to kissing it on its little mouth, I, was, I had to take a leap of faith there. You there. Are. And look at that, and there you are. Uh, I, I couldn't really quite do it. <laughs> oh, I mean, this fish had been dead for a while, I think. That's fantastic that you did that. Tell me about the, the dinner, Maureen Hiscock, because from what I gather, you there was uh, maybe a thank you dinner involved, but you didn't want to exclude everybody, so you got the ball rolling for the big buffet dinner. Uh, yes, we decided we would have what we called a Newfie night. And the staff all chipped in, and we had an organized buffet. We had a variety of uh, traditional Newfoundland foods. And uh, we had it at our local golf club. And we had some Newfoundland music. And we decided we would get someone to screech Jan and Joe in. And we had a blast. Tell me what it meant to the students to have... Um, well, Jan Brett coming, I mean, such a noted author, obviously, but to have her come in, have the experience, and, and they were so attentive when she was there, speaking to them about illustration and writing. Uh, they were in awe of having her here. They couldn't, when they were looking at her in the morning, like, oh, there's Jan Brett, there's Jan Brett. That was before we were in the gym. Uh, they were all excited. Uh, I'd say it was the highlight of my teaching career. 
the highlight of your teaching career. Oh, yes. That's yeah. fantastic. And I guess you also decorated the school sort of with, with different um, books that Jan Brad has written? Yes, we, uh, we decided we would decorate uh, each door to represent a different book belonging to Jan Brett. And that was the children's work. The children did that, the drawing, the coloring, the decorating and things. Uh, teacher helped organize it, but it was the children's work. It's so amazing you heard it. It's a highlight of her career and certainly the highlight of the students here, which is so amazing. What do you hope that you'll leave behind with them for this visit? Well, I think she's going to have another highlight of her career when one of her children grows up to be either an author or an illustrator. Yeah. Because she's got so much going on up there. And the principal is wonderful. It's just wish everybody could see what's so happening with those children, those creative children yep. that love their books. That's just wonderful. And, one, and, the, and the great thing, too, was that um, with a smaller school and a smaller community, there was a thought, too, that maybe they couldn't compete against the bigger communities and engines that are, you know, international. Exactly. Um, but it's wonderful for them and terrific of you to come in and share the experience with us. Thank well, you, Jen. It was Jen. a highlight of my career as well, and I can't wait to come go back. Well, Maureen Hiscock, I hope you were able to hear that because Jan said it was a highlight of her career as well. Thank you so much.